Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be working on a journal entry based off of Matthew 7 8. I found my inspiration for this entry through the Let's Make Art journaling box, and if you haven't checked them out, you really should. The supplies that you're going to need today are really whatever you have on hand. Use whatever you have, whatever you want, of course your Bible, and then today I'm going to be using watercolors. I'm choosing colors in deep blues and bright rich pinks and deep purples. I love these colors together. I'm also going to be using one color from my Decadent Pies uh, palette here. I'm going to be using this gold color. It's going to add some beautiful sheen and glitter and shine to some of the parts of this entry. So if you have some gold watercolor, absolutely pull that out. I'm also going to be using ink. I have my Micron pens that I love to use and also some markers and my journal, which is a multimedia journal. And then of course these printouts, which you can find under the resources tab on the website. So let's get started. Before we begin, I think it's important to pray and invite the Holy Spirit into our journaling time. That is the point after all, right? To encounter him and to hear his voice. So let's pray. God, I ask that you would meet us here in this moment, that you would speak to us, that we would have ears to hear. God, this is our time and I am choosing to be fully present with you right now. Amen. Amen. So I love the scripture from Matthew. If you're not familiar, Matthew is in the New Testament and it is the first book in the New Testament. So it's about three quarters of the way through your Bible. So you're going to flip to Matthew, whatever version you have. My actual Bible is a New King James. This is chapter seven, verse eight. And we're going to see that these are actually Jesus's words being spoken to us. It's an invitation. And if you look on this printout, you're going to see it written twice. This top portion is from the Passion Translation, which I love. And then this portion is actually from the Christian Standard Version. So whatever you like, you can use that. All right, let's load up our palette. Again, I told you I chose different rich colors, vibrant. They're just um, something very special and supernatural about these colors, I think, mixed together. I have a little orange that I'm going to add in there as well. So now we're going to get started with our water and our colors. I'm just going to fill this page with random colors. I'm going to put some different colors together that I like, the blues and the pinks next to each other. I think all of them blend really nicely. If you're using a different color palette, that's absolutely acceptable. Perhaps you love greens and when you read the scripture, the color green comes to mind or maybe some yellows and oranges. It's really, I believe, the Holy Spirit speaking to you and, and speaking to you through your imagination while you read the Bible. So whatever is speaking to you, pull those out and use those. And you can always then go back and do some research and find out what those colors symbolize. I know that the color purple symbolizes royalty. When I think of Jesus, I think of King Jesus, that he is royal and he has made us a royal priesthood. So I like to think of that when I think of purple. So you're going to fill in your page with these colors, however you like, whatever design you like. Here I added some orange just to change it up and break it up a little bit. Also keep in mind that that door that we have is going to go over the middle of this page. So I'm not as concerned with how the middle of this page is going to turn out, which is why I like that orange color that I don't love that right there, but I like it towards the bottom. I'm more concerned with the outsides of it where that it's going to show through from the door. So I just kind of blotted it out a little bit to blend it in a little bit more. One thing I should mention is you, I should have put a piece of wax paper behind this page so that the, the paint didn't bleed onto my other pages in my journal. I did not do that. You will see that I do it later as we get into this on the next page. Um, so that's just a tip to help from your, your colors from bleeding onto other pages. So this is the page that the door is going on. Now this left side is where I'm going to actually put some writing and that's where I'm going to put that printed scripture. So I am going to color that in as well so that there's full color across the whole um, layout of this journal entry. Again, you could change and use totally different colors. I chose to stick with the same color palette that I was already using, but you can do whatever you would like. I'm really happy with how this turned out and now we're going to move on to working on our page with the door. 
On this door, you're gonna paint this. This is just regular printer paper, and I used watercolors on it. You can do whatever you want. You could print it on heavier duty cardstock, whatever works for you. And then once you're done coloring it in, you're gonna cut out the outside of it. Do not cut the middle of it yet. Just cut the outside. So here's my finished door. I did use watercolor. I used that gold watercolor. Um, the paper feels nice and sturdy, and I'm really happy with this. I'm not worried about it ripping or tearing at all. Now that I have this cut out, we are going to place it onto our background. I'm gonna get it figured out where I wanna put it, the layout of it, and then I am going to be using Yes Paste to glue it down. And I'm just gonna smooth it out, make sure it's where I like it. The nice thing about Yes Paste is that I can kind of reposition it if I need to, but I'm happy with this, it's nice and smooth. And now I'm gonna move on to cutting. You're gonna need to have some kind of cutting board. Mine's kind of big here, I wish I had something smaller. But you're gonna put that behind your page because we don't wanna cut through to another page in your journal. We're gonna cut the doors out. You wanna make sure that you don't cut all the way around the outside, you'll see as I cut, we're gonna cut straight down the middle to separate the two doors. Then we're gonna cut the bottom from the stairs and the door, and then just the top where it's curved so that we can open that door panel. But make sure you don't cut the left and right sides of it. Trim it up, fold it back, crease it so that it uh, opens like a door. Now we're gonna work on this interior page and now you see I use the wax paper like I should have before. And I have chosen, because this is the opening of the door, I'm gonna use that gold watercolor that I love so much. Because when I think about knocking on a door of heaven or knocking on Jesus's door to talk to him, I imagine that it's pretty glorious on the interior and I can't think of any better color than gold. So I am coloring my inside of the doors gold. So there we have the finished product, and I am really happy with that gold. I love opening that up and seeing that in there. Now I'm gonna just add some texture to my front page. I'm gonna take that gold that I love so much and just kind of flick it around the page to add a little more dimension and texture. You could even take your paint right now and add um, intentional dots where you maybe put some dots around the page or maybe you want to use that gold or if you have silver or something else and add some swirls or uh, little squiggly lines. Now we're going to use our cutouts here. I'm going to cut out the Ask, Seek, Knock and the Matthew 7, 8 and also the scripture. And then I'm just going to figure out where I want them placed on my page and glue them down. Now that it's all glued down, I am gonna use a white gel pen and I'm gonna add just a little doodads here and there, some doodles, and then I'm going to journal a little bit, some thoughts, and I highlighted some words on this verse for me. Now I'm going back to my white pen and I'm just gonna write out some thoughts. Once I'm done with this page, I'm going to actually trace the interior of that door frame so that I can see where to write so that my writing stays within the door frame. And I'm actually writing out a prayer here for my journal. You could do whatever you want. You could write out the scripture. You could write out something that you feel the Lord is saying to you, a memory, a dream, whatever you want. And there you have it, it's all set. So Matthew 7, 8, ask, seek, knock. This is something that Jesus is telling us to do. And there's a promise associated with it that when we ask, we'll receive, when we seek, we will find, and when we knock, he's gonna open the door for us. So God, I thank you for your promises. I thank you that when we diligently ask and seek and knock on the door, you are faithful to respond. God, I bless this time. I bless those who have watched in the time that they spend with you. Friends, I would love it if you would subscribe. Come on back. Go to journalingbecky.com to subscribe to my newsletter or subscribe to this channel. And we'll see you next time.